And here are some passages that draw correlations to UFOs and the encounters of the fourth kind coming from Ezekiel. As I looked, behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, and a great cloud with brightness around it, and a fire flashing forth continually. And in the midst of the fire, as were gleaming metal, and from the midst of it came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had human likeness, but each had four faces. Each of them had four wings. Their legs were straight, though the soles of their feet were like the soles of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like burning bronze. Under their wings, on their four sides, they had human hands, and on the four had their faces and their wings thus. Their wings touched one another. Each of them went straight forward, without turning as they went. As for the likeness of their faces, each had a human face, and the four had the face of a lion on the right side, an ox on the left side, and an eagle. Such were their faces, and their wings were spread out above. Each creature had two wings, each of which touched the wings of another, while two covered their bodies, and each went straight forward. Wherever their spirit would go, they went, without turning as they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire, like the appearance of torches moving to and fro among the living creatures. And the fire was bright, and out of the fire went forth lightning, and the living creatures darted to and fro, like the appearance of a flash of lightning. And over the heads of the living creatures there was the likeness of an expanse, shining like awe-inspiring crystal, spread out above their wings. And under the expanse, their wings were stretched out straight, one toward another, and each creature had two wings covering its body. And when they went, I heard the sound of their wings like the sound of many waters, like the sound of the Almighty, a sound of tumult, like the sound of an army, when they stood still, they let down their wings, and there came a voice from above the expanse over their head. When they stood still, they let down their wings. And above the expanse over their heads, there was the likeness of a throne, in appearance like sapphire. And seated above the likeness of the throne was a likeness with a human appearance. And upward, from what had the appearance of his waist, I saw, as it were, a gleaming metal like the appearance of fire enclosed all around it. And downward from what had the appearance of his waist, I saw as it were the appearance of fire, and there was a brightness around him, like the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud on the day of rain. So was the appearance of the brightness all around. And now as I looked at the living creatures, I saw a wheel on the earth beside the living creatures, one for each of the four of them. As for the appearance of the wheels and their construction, their appearance was like the gleaming of barrels, and the four had the same likeness, their appearance and construction being as it were a wheel within a wheel. When they went, they went in any of their four directions without turning as they went, and their rims were tall and awesome, and the rims of the four were full of eyes all around, and when the living creatures went, the wheels went beside them. When the living creatures rose from the earth, the wheels rose. Wherever the Spirit wanted to go, they went, and the wheels rose along with them, for the Spirit of the living creatures was in the wheels. When those went, these went, and when those stood, these stood, and when those rose from the earth, the wheels rose along with them, for the Spirit of the living creatures was in the wheel. So as you can see from these passages taken from Ezekiel in the Old Testament of the Bible, you'll notice that creatures, human-like, ascended from the sky or the heaven in wheels, within wheels, made of steel surrounded by fire and also by glowing eyes, which I could easily compare to light. And the vehicles that the creatures were within moved with their spirit which you could also correlate to with thought or with their mind. And wherever their mind wanted to go, they went. And the wheels rose along with them. For the mind of the living creatures was in the wheel. 
So you can see that these, or this passage is actually talking about um, aerial, aerial vehicles uh, shaped like saucers or rings within rings that moved with the thoughts in the creature's mind, 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 mind.